the tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up big city port. This is tugs. <laughs> what well, beloved dub dub motherfuckers, what's going on everyone? It is I, I'm sort of Jack of all trades with a foul mouth, Commander Urban. Woo wee motherfucker! And we are starting a new project today. And before I begin with the project, I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. And especially to uh, the Unlucky Tug, Troublesome Junction, Lego Spaceman, and Master of the Lemons. Because it was because of those guys that the reason why I'm even starting this shit anyway. And you guys are probably wondering, there's a stack of paper here. Well, these are drawings I did years ago. As a matter of fact, 14 years ago of all seven of the Star Tugs from Tugs. And the drawings look like shit by today's standards, but I was drawing off of really poor quality images. And, you know, I can tell you right now, see, because we got, you know, we got Ten Cents, Big Mac, OJ, or O Jones, Top Hat, which Top Hat's fucking awesome. Uh, Warrior. My man Hercules. And of course, good old little Sunshine. Anyway, before I begin what I'm going to really say, uh, well, years and years ago, I remembered my Anastal bringing to me a stack of VHS tapes of Thomas Tank Engine. And there was other VHS tapes in there too. And they were of a show called Tugs. Now the thing is, the show never was released here in the U.S. So how the hell my Anastal got a hold of fucking, you know, VHS tapes that came from the United Kingdom? I don't fucking know. Maybe she got them from a thrift store or something. Maybe somebody bought them and brought them over and then they got rid of them or something. I don't fucking know. But that's how I watched Tugs. I remember watching Tugs as a kid through the VHS tapes. And I absolutely, positively fucking loved it. And I always thought to myself, damn, I wish there was toys. I wish there was models and replicas of these characters because I absolutely fucking loved them. They're amazing, especially Hercules. I just loved Hercules. It was just a damn shame that in the entire first season, my man Hercules only got less than ten minutes of fucking airtime. Ah, that is fucking pathetic as shit. But then years later, when I actually discovered there was merchandise for Tugs, and to my astonishment and disarray, dismay, it was expensive as fuck. Especially the Takara Tugs. Holy fucking shit. People are fucking insane for the prices that they're willing to pay for that shit. So... I always thought to myself, I wanted to build a model of a Tugs character. And there's a bunch of them I really liked. I liked all of them. But I wanted to build a really good model. And, and of course, you know, there were seven Tugs. Of course, I wanted to build one of the stars. And I thought to myself, which star would I build? And, of course, I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it. And after conclusion, I picked one, and I looked up everything I could about this particular tug. And uh, I did a two-paper drawing of everything I need to know about this particular character. And I dated it the uh, 21st of September of 2016. And of course, not too long after that, I lost interest. But until fucking recently, I discovered... Master of the Lemons, Lemmy. Dude, you're absolutely fucking awesome. And he built models of Tug's characters out of cardboard and shit, too. And these things are fucking awesome. And he's even making replicas, like Thomas Wooden Railway style, models of the characters. And Lemmy, buddy, if you ever watch this video, if you ever see this video, I want to talk to you about it, see if you would build me a couple of TWR models, uh, Tugs models, 
I got a couple of mine I really want. Um, I would love to have Hercules, and I'd love to have OJ. Other two I'd really, really love. And maybe a top hat. I love top hat. But anyway, so, you know what? I said, you know what? I'm going to build that Tugs model I wanted to do. So, I went around, scurrying around, and I found my drawing. My fucking drawing. You're probably wondering, who am I going to build? Hell yeah, baby, you guessed it. I'm building Hercules. I am building the biggest tug. I'm thinking, holy shit, what the hell did I do? And I literally drew all the different pe things I would you need to know about them. The bits, the searchlights, the cranes, the porthole, the eagle and the searchlight on his hat, his hat detail, of course his face, this is the face I want to make, his smiling face. And of course I made all kinds of notes on here, see? See, 39 inches length, 9 to 11 inches wide, because I didn't really know, but I did find out later on that Hercules' model, like filming model, is fucking 9 inches wide. I was like, okay. So he was... In, in a Tugs annual that someone was showing, it said that he classified himself as the yacht of the Tugs. He classified himself as a, as a, a yacht-like Tug, which is not far from the truth. And of course, you know, you have everything you need to know about him. Like his signal lights, rafts, well, lifeboats, life rings, lifeboat davits, lifeboat holders, the large bits, towing bits funnel, whistle, and yes, uh, the actual filming model did not have a whistle, but I based that information on the real inspiration behind Hercules, the real steam tug Hercules in San Francisco. But yeah, this is going to be the next fucking build, guys. We are going to build Hercules, and we're going to build him up as follows. We're going to do the hull. We're going to build this fucking hull up. We're going to do the upper structure we're going to do the head the funnel the vents lifeboats and davits the mast and then we're going to go through and detail everything I think the hardest thing about this is going to probably be you know for one making his face I want to make a really nice fucking face um, because there's a, a video I've seen, someone made a really large model of Boomer. And all they did is they took a rounded piece of cardboard and they drew his fucking face and shit on it. I don't want to do that. I actually want to make a, an actual face. So I'm going to figure out how to fucking do that. And I think the other hardest part is probably going to be these vents. So it's going to be hard as fuck. So. But yeah. I am going to basically try to build Hercules. And everything on this paper is everything that I was able to learn about Hercules. I even draw drew a top view of him. So, there we go. I hope you guys will enjoy this uh, fucking build of, of, you know, of Captain Star's largest tug in the gentle giant himself. You know, I hope I can do them justice, you know. So, until next time, my dears. You know, if you have any questions or comments about anything, just let me know, sweethearts, and I'll get back with you. And as always, if you have any questions or anything at all, let me know. And until next time, this is Cap this is Commodore Urban saying, the smooth season clears, guys. Happy sailing with all of you. Until next time, I'll catch you later, and... Hell yeah, fuck! Yeah, man, fuck, I'm... I don't know, I, I think I'm probably screwed, so anyway, yeah. And, uh, also again, Lemmy, Master Lemons, fucking thank you so much for inspiring me to dig this shit out. See, 9, 20, 1, and 16. So, hell yeah, we're gonna get this done, so... Fucking peace! Until next time, see you later, my dears. Ha <laughs> ha.